Hi everyone, welcome to Season 4, Week 8 of the Los Altos Juice Frogs Team Builder Dynasty. And this week we are playing Washington State Cougars. The Washington State is probably one of the weakest teams in the Pac-12. So we are looking to extend our winning streak to 7 by coming out with a victory. So we'll see how it goes. As you guys can see from the stats, Washington State actually has better statistics than our team on paper. But here, Davenport comes up with the interception on Washington State's first drive of the game. And we take over in great field position, and now we get to B.J. Kelly, and B.J. Kelly just completely burns the defense. And goes in for the touchdown, 7-0. And check out our ranking, we are up to 12th in the country now, after going 6-0 in our first 6 games. Here the quarterback scrambles, a uh, great run there for a 15 yard gain in the first down. Now they, this time they get to Myers, Myers gives a, a great spin move there to dodge a defender, asks for a face mask penalty, and he gets the face mask penalty. Couple plays later, it's third and eight. Uh, Podaka, he drops back the pass, and we got him! He took too long, we have three guys in his face, forcing a long 50 yard 55 yard field goal, which is missed. So we stay on top 7 0. This time Fletcher gets at the ball. Paul takes a big hit, but uh, hangs onto the ball and gets a first down. And this time we got a man wide open. It's Chad Sapp. It's not even going to be close. Boom, just like that. 14 zip. This time Apple gets it to a star receiver Loftus. And Loftus gets a first down. Now second and two, they drop back the pass again. And this one is deep. And they got a man near the sideline for a first down. Now after a few plays, it's third and four. And this one is just thrown behind the receiver. It's fourth and four. And Washington State uh, makes their field goal this time. Now I got two men open here. I get it to Alan Causey. Alan Causey, nice job there making it to the first down marker. This time Causey again, Ooh, he takes a big hit near midfield and holds on to the ball. Great job there. And now I'm going deep, wide open. It's BJ Kelly. They do catch him this time inside the five. And now after a couple of plays, it's third and goal, and Moye is stuffed! A big defensive stand by Washington State forces us to kick a field goal, so we're only up 17-3 now. And this time on third and eight, Apotaka throws behind him, and we hit the receiver for a major 6 yard loss and get the ball back after Washington State punts. Now I'm going deep, this is probably a bad decision, but for some reason Robertson was able to come up with it. And I think this is a situation where Fletcher's arm strength is really paying off. Whereas if it was Freeman, I don't think he would have the arm strength to throw this ball deep and it would probably have been intercepted by the cornerback. But here the ball is deep, Robertson's got separation, and we get a touchdown to go up 24-3. This time they give a handoff to Caldwell, good run out to midfield by Caldwell. And now they got two men open, and somehow the quarterback was able to pick out one of them for a first down. Delayed handoff to Caldwell again, nice trucking there to get the first down. Apple looks, but he is slammed. And we have done a very good job of getting to the quarterback in this game overall. And now on third and 15, they look, they got plenty of time. It's intercepted by Ferguson, the strong safety. What an interception! That was not an easy catch to make. And if he did not make that interception, I think the receiver would have had a big game. So this time we get to Chad Seth. Nice job hanging on to the ball there for first down. A big swing in momentum there, since if Washington State had made this 24-10, to 10, we would actually have a game. But now we get to B.J. Kelly, and B.J. Kelly is inside the 40. Another huge game, and we uh, hurry up a little bit with less than a minute to go. 
time out of the bunch formation. We got man wide open. It's BJ Kelly again. Now we can pretty much just chew off some clock and punch it in with no time left. Which we do, Moya gets into the end zone, 31-3, and this one is pretty much in the books. And we actually get the ball to start the second half. And unbelievably, we get another touchdown. So it's time to put in the reserves. So unbelievable game. I mean, we sacked the quarterback again to get the ball back. I mean, if you think uh, last week's 50-13 win against Oregon State was dominant, this is even more dominant. Because even though that score was 53-13, we had a couple uh, late scores that were kind of just running it up. But here, all of these are real legitimate scores. And Chatsap just adds to our total, 45-3. And now you can see it's only backups. And we actually have a guy on defense named Ball as well. Interesting. Actually, no, I think that is Warren Ball. It's just that he's playing defense because uh, we were putting in all the second, a second team. So apparently Warren Ball has some coverage skills. I didn't even realize that. Interesting. And now it's 45-3. to And now it's even more. It's 52-3. to J.R. Slaughter, the freshman phenom. Gets a touchdown. Nice to see him get into some of the action. And at this point, I'm just hoping for the game to be over as soon as possible. It looks like Washington State is hoping for exactly the same thing. Since they have put in all of their backups as well. So, with 5 minutes left in the 3rd quarter, we have already surpassed our point total from last game. Just incredible how we are able to do that. Nice draw to Caldwell. Caldwell has some good juke moves and a stiff arm, and he almost makes it into the end zone. It's a great effort from Caldwell. Playing hard even though the game is definitely over, and Washington State does get a consolation touchdown here, so it's 52 to 10. Looks like we were able to draw them off sides, but I still did not go deep. And we got one ball on the slant. Now we got to Robertson, our speedster, and Robertson's pass midfield. Great catch there. Showing his versatility and making some possession catches as well. But here, a bad decision. I should have waited for the receiver to get more separation before I threw that ball. A little bit impatient. Uh, not going to cost us the game, but definitely painful in the sense that it makes us have to play this game longer. Whereas if we had made the completion, we could chew off more clock. And now we have to sit through more of this kind of uh, garbage time. Great run here by Cornwall on the draw. We were playing uh, pass all the way since Washington State tends to pass a lot out of the hurry up, but they decided to change their style a little bit and go to the draw play and they were able to get a few nice first downs on those runs. This time Jackson's got to Banks, but I think there's going to be a holding penalty. No, it's roughing the passer. Wow. Definitely unexpected, and this lets Washington State basically get another touchdown. Yep, and Caldwell rolls around, spins by two guys, gets a touchdown. So it's 52-17. to Now they go with the onside kick. We come up with it. Nice shot by the backup tight end and Noble to come up with that. And somehow we were not able to score additional points after that. I think at that point, I just want to kneel down and get the game over with. So a tremendous win, 52-17, even more dominant than the game uh, last week against Oregon State. And surprisingly, we are 7-0 now. We have already won three games in the Pac-12, which was kind of my goal to win like three out of eight. So now that we have seven wins, I think we should go for a new goal, which is to get promoted to four stars. And I think in order to do that, we'll have to get nine wins. So that means we have to win two out of our next five to get promoted. Well, we actually don't even have to win two out of our next five, because most likely we'll be going to a bowl game. So, we we'll just have to win two out of our next six. So, I think we're in a great position to get promoted to four stars. And just overall fantastic game. And I have to say, I'm a little bit surprised that we're able to roll these 
Pac-12 opponents that are nominally better on paper and just completely destroy them, like Oregon State. Whereas Washington State kind of expected to win, but I did not expect to beat Oregon State so badly. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and next week we will be taking on Arizona. See you next time.